Beverly is a neighborhood that is known for, among other things, the diversity of its housing. And on this block, you can really see it. There aren't two houses that look anything like one another. This one in particular really has that going on. It feels as if it was hand built. It's got these great hand turned wood accents above the Tudor brick and beam feeling of the second floor. The lower level here is this great brick and stone facade. It looks as if somebody maybe built it in their off hours. The brick departs from the pattern. You've got the weeping mortar that just gives it an older feeling. The house was built in the 1930s, but feels as if it's probably been here much longer. You know when somebody does all this sort of thing that time and attention were paid to the house. This is how the house started, and when we go inside, you'll see that successive owners have also worked the house by hand. One great example of that is in the living room where you've got all this handmade stained glass. The room started out with this beautiful stone fireplace, the great crown moldings, a nice high ceiling, and leaded glass windows, and then the prior owner added all this stained glass. He was a hobbyist and made all these panels in this room, in the office, and in the dining room. So they sort of take the look of the house up just one more notch. And then the current owner did the same sort of thing. She took out, there was a set of white wooden spindles here and on her own, with some help from family members, replaced this entire thing and again, took the look up a notch. And did the same thing here in the kitchen. They had a bunch of dark cabinets. She lightened them up herself. There are new countertops, which she didn't put in herself, but did an awful lot of work lightening up and opening up this kitchen. Megan, the seller of the house, you did, you put in a lot of time and effort into this house yourself. Yes, yes, we did. You did. And now you're putting in some effort in another way. You're trying to sell the house yourself. We are. Uh, with a, a flat fee listing service, um, we are trying to sell the home on our own. Just to, We have a budget, so we're trying to save as much as we can um, in the selling process. And a buyer saves some money at the same time. That's correct. That's great. Now, given all you've done here, you also, we haven't mentioned yet, redid the entire basement, put in a bar, created a nice big family room space down there, and we'll see some improvements upstairs. You put in not only time, but a lot of money, yet you're asking considerably less than that total investment. We are. Um, the market is different now than when we purchased the home, and we have done our market research and realized that uh, prices are lower than they were, and so we're just doing, um, in doing our market research, trying to ask a fair price for what the market is now. And it's not only the market that has changed, but your family changed while you've been here, right? That's right. When we first moved in, we have a seven-month-old baby, and now we have four children and just feel like we're outgrowing the home a little bit. Now, although she said they're outgrowing the house, that doesn't mean there's not any space in this house. There's quite a bit of room. You start on the second floor with three bedrooms. There are two in the back overlooking the yard and a bath. And then there's a large bedroom that originally would have been the master. Now it's filled by two children. But you could go back to using that as the master or do what this family has done and bring the parents upstairs one to the third floor. This originally an attic was later turned into a whatever room. And then this family made it into a master. They they upgraded the bath that was up here, and then they added closets all along the sides under eaves that would have been wasted space and created this nice retreat at the top of the house for them. They have really maximized all the space in this house, and yet they've outgrown the house. They have not outgrown the neighborhood trying to stay in Beverly because you've got the great variety of housing. There is, in this, in this part of Beverly, you've got the hills and the winding streets. There's all the great shopping and dining on Western and on 95th. Dan Ryan Woods just beyond us here. Beverly really kind of has everything.